Hey guys, uh, so today is the live with Trey Sean, and I'm so excited because we are going to be talking about mindset. So I'm just gonna wait a couple minutes for Trey Sean to join and for a few of you guys to join. Um, that way we can go ahead and get started. But yeah, if you guys didn't know, if you join and you don't know what's going on today, Treshawn and I are basically going live and we are going to be talking about mindset. Hey, everybody that's joining. Uh, so today, yes, today is my live with uh, Treshawn and we are going to be talking about mindset. So I'm going to give you guys a few minutes to come on in. Hello, everyone. I'm waving to all of you because I like you guys. I love you guys. <laughs> um but yeah i'm just gonna wait for trey sean to come on in hey aiden i'm gonna wait for him and then we can go ahead and get started i should have i don't know like how to do the title thingy where i can do like mindset with trey sean because a lot of people do that title and i didn't know how to do it but okay so he said he sent the request let's see trying to this is the update i haven't gone live since they updated it okay let's see if he sent the request oh i turned my camera off okay um treshawn i am sending you this right now And let's see what it does. Hi, everybody that's in here. Sorry, it's taking us a couple seconds. But like the whole thing is updated. I haven't gone live since they updated the whole thing. And so it's a little bit different now. But we're going to get Trey Sean in here. And go ahead and go live and talk about mindset. If you guys could just give us, oh my goodness. Hey, I turned the camera around. <laughs> You guys could just give us a couple seconds. Okay. I'm waiting for him. Oh. Okay, so guys, Treshawn is having a little bit of difficulties with his account. So stay by your phones. Don't go anywhere. I am going to get off. Oh, wait. Oh. Yeah, I am going to, um, I'm going to get off super quick. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to get off super quick and try to, hello, everyone. That's... Oh, he's in. <laughs> hey, Reagan. Yeah. Hi, how are you? So sorry it took so long. I'm not sure what happened there. No, that's fine. It's everything is new. I was going to get off super quick and try to make sure that everything was okay. But okay, perfect. So hello, everyone that's in. I see a whole bunch of people joining. Hi. Hello, 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 hello. If you guys don't already know, I should have figured out how to do the title thingy. I didn't know how. But if you don't already know, Trishan and I are going to be doing a live today talking about mindset and this is a topic that both of us love to touch on so mm -hmm. much i think mindset is so very important when it comes to doing anything in life any aspect of life hello everyone any aspect of life you need to have a mindset and depending on that mindset um that will lead you to yeah. your final destination of if you Absolutely. guys know what I'm saying. <laughs> um so yeah hello everyone we're just gonna wait like three more seconds for more people to come in if they want to and uh, then we'll go ahead and get into it. Treshawn, did you want to say anything? Absolutely, yeah. So we're just really excited to get that delve into this discussion. As Regan said, it's going to be around mindset. As it's definitely really important, as I say, like your mindset determines how far you're able to go. So we're just really excited to obviously get on uh, with the conversation. Obviously, just try and maybe even see if we can bring a few of you up to ask any questions that you may have. We do have a couple of topics written down just to discuss to make sure we're able to provide value to you guys. And yeah, it's really excited. Absolutely. Okay, so let's start off with the first question. Uh, well, not questions necessarily. We're just going to be touching all around the topic of mindset. Um, but Treshawn, how about you start us off and tell us what the importance of mindset is? Absolutely. Yeah. So as I said, like mindset obviously determines how far you're able to go. I actually did a talk on this yesterday, talking about how mindset, your like your mind is literally your fertile ground. 
mm-hmm. and everything you learn is constantly building and just building on top of it. And without the right fundamentals, without the right soil, if you want to call it that, you're not able to I don't know, maybe give birth to the right tree. And it's literally just about understanding that if this isn't right, then the external world will definitely not show up in the way you want to. As you said, like, it starts within. And when you're able to just get a clear goal and be specific about what that goal is, when you want to achieve it by, you then have those steps and then it becomes more attainable as well. So literally having that mindset and also being adaptable is something that's really important, especially like throughout the pandemic, like we've seen jobs like just go go out the window pretty much. And those who weren't able to adapt obviously had to pay the price. Those who were able to think, okay, everyone's at home, but everyone's online. Maybe I can start a YouTube channel and make money from that. Maybe I can, I don't know, maybe start selling things online. But it's literally just about being able to adapt to the newly found uh, surroundings that you find yourself in. Wow. Wow. I love that. Yeah. I'm just going to add on to that and say mindset is so very important. Like without your mindset, you literally, without your mind, you literally could not do anything. If you, if you, you guys ever heard of the term brain dead? Yeah. So when that, that means your brain is dead, which means nothing is active, which means you can't have feelings. You can't have thoughts. Your body can't move. You can't physically do anything because you're not there anymore that's how powerful mindset is like mindset you couldn't do anything without it you have the mindset sometimes we don't realize it because it's become part part of our lifestyle but you have the mind to get up and go brush your teeth right because you want your breath to smell good you don't want you don't want that nasty taste in your mouth you're ready to go eat and get your day started that's your mindset and like i said we don't realize that because those simple habits have become part of our lifestyle, but it's because of our mindset that we're able to do those things. Like our mindset, putting on shoes. You know that in order to go outside, you should put on shoes because summertime, it may be hot. (laughs) Blacktop may be hot. Um, uh, Winter, it may be cold and you don't want your feet to get cold. It's just become a habit, a good habit that's become part of your lifestyle. So with your mindset, it's important that you have a good mindset because with, Honestly, mindset influences everything. Like, say, for instance, you're sick, right? If you have the mindset saying, I'm sick and I'm not going to get better, then your mindset is so powerful to the point to where you're not going to get better until it changes. If you start thinking, I'm going to get better, I'm ready to get back to my job, I'm ready to get back to school, then you're going to start developing or like getting rid of those symptoms of that sickness because that's how powerful your mindset is. Now, yes, a lot of it has to do with medicinal purposes and things that are going on within your body, but mindset has like 50% of it too because if you don't have that mindset, then it's almost impossible to do what you have a desire to do and live the live your life the way that you should be living it. So yeah, mindset is very important. Is there anything you wanted to add? Yeah, definitely. That's just leading off from what you just said there about like how there's actually another saying where it says if you don't have the right mindset you're already at a disadvantage because right. if you're not in the right frame of mind if you're not just thinking positively be it going into a test you're thinking oh my gosh like i'm struggling or i haven't revised i haven't done this xyz and you're constantly piling on these things and then along comes the stress as well there's actually there's no way like whether you're whether you say you want to do it or not as you say you're you're right either way it's literally just about making that conscious decision making that choice and having that right frame of mindset, really, because then you're able to look at life in a different way, as opposed to constantly thinking negatively, thinking, oh, my gosh, why me? Instead, you're able to understand, OK, this has happened. I'm so grateful because it's made me the person who I am today. Right. Absolutely. And I mean, just to like piggyback off of everything that we've already <laughs> said in the two minutes that we've been live, um, mindset, like you said, was is the foundation of everything. It's important to have a good mindset. A lot of times, and I'm literally just expounding on what I've already said, but your mindset is so influential. Like your beliefs, your morals, all of that is so influential. And a lot of us don't realize that. And they think, oh, life is supposed to be like this. I don't have anything to do with it. I can't change it from where it is when really you can. If you have the mindset to change something, you will be able to change it because you're determined to make sure that it's changed. If you have the mindset to get up and go get dressed, then you're going to get dressed because you're determined to put your clothes on. If you are, if you have the mindset to get up every single morning and eat eggs, toast, and, and something else, drink orange juice, then you're going to do that because you're determined to eat breakfast every single morning. And it starts with simple things like that, that 
I really want to get my generation and, and people in general to realize that if you have the right mindset, then you can do anything you have desired to do. Yes, I see all of you guys in the comments. You can change with the right mindset. You, you two are dropping truth bombs. Thank you guys so much. And we are having people join. So if anybody wants to come in and request, we'd love to have a conversation with you. But um, yeah, your foundation is your mindset. Everything begins with mindset. And I know at the end of this live, that's not gonna sound like a word because <laughs> we're saying it so much and I am a repetitive person, but it is very true. That's why I can't stress enough the importance of having a good and positive mindset because your mindset alone can be a weight. It can be a negative weight that you carry around with you every single day and you, you wonder why you don't feel determined anymore. More. You wonder why you don't feel motivated anymore. You wonder why you don't want to go outside anymore, why you want to stay home because we have adapted to the fact that we need to stay home, that we need to stay under the covers, that we need to just watch netflix all day and covid has it it has had a very big influence on that but yeah. if we change our mindset to the positive side and say okay even though that covid has happened even though all of this has taken place what can i do to still stay po positive what can i do to still stay productive what can i do to still get work done what can i do to still um get everything done that I need to do? What can I still do to accomplish my dreams and goals? That's the power of changing your mindset. Like, let's get into COVID really quick. COVID happened, right? 50% yeah, yeah. of the world probably was like, wow, okay. So I got to stay home. Probably like 99% of the world was like, okay, now we got to stay home. Um, I'm just going to watch Netflix. This will be over soon. Um, I'm, I'm just going to, this is good. Cause you know, I could just drop everything, leave everything where it was. Don't have to worry about anything. And the other 1%, 1% of people were like, okay, now that we're in COVID, what can I do to still continue on the pace that I was before COVID happened? And that's the pace that all of us need to get on. That's the pace. Okay. I'm trying to see what it's like. But that's the pace that all of us need to realize um, and to stay on. So that's the importance of a positive mindset, guys. Thank you. Thank you all so much. I'm going to let Trey talk because I've probably been talking for too much. <laughs> but so, uh, yeah, that. that's mindset. Go ahead, Trey. No problem. Sorry about it. The light wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, definitely. It's important. Like what you said, especially like always like throughout lockdown, it definitely had an effect on many people like myself personally. Like um, as I'm homeschooled, like when I was in school, as you know, like really, really active, constantly running about break, lunch, come, come rain, come sun. It yeah. did not matter. Like we were always out there playing football, and as a result of lockdown, then we got I got especially me. I got uh, caught into bad habits. Like I'd stay in more. I'd stay up a lot later. Um, wouldn't be eating the right stuff. Wouldn't be exercising as much. And then I had to make a conscious decision of okay, I want to wake up at I don't know, maybe six a.m., five a.m., and I want to do these different things. This is how I want to start my day. And although it was not easy at the start whatsoever, it definitely does pay off. And then when you're able to I guess, as you said, like repetition, repetition is so very important. Mm -hmm. And then that way, it no longer, no longer is, you no longer feel as though you need motivation. It's right. more so a discipline. It's something that, okay, I have to do this. It's not about, right. oh, I, f I feel good. I don't feel good. It needs to get done whether I like it or not. And then that way you're constantly uh, sh shifting even your mindset because you're understanding, okay, there are certain things I need to do that are going to help me, which I may not necessarily like but the future self will definitely appreciate it more so it's just about understanding that and then when you're able to obviously adapt your mindset and also think in the long term as opposed to just the short-term gratification you're then able to understand that xyz factors are then tying into my future whereas i don't know maybe abc is not helping me so let's see what i can replace that with and yeah definitely it's important because when it comes to especially like mindset when people try to get rid of these, um, just like any negative inclinations, they just tend to just chuck it out. And then they think, they feel like they've lost a piece of themselves. They feel like, oh my gosh, it's a huge chunk just taken out of me. When actually it's about replacing that with something else that is more empowering, more beneficial, something positive. Because then when you're able to replace it, it's only a matter of like, I don't know, maybe like a month or so. So you actually get used to being and being more disciplined. And then you no longer have to think, oh, like a huge chunk has been taken. Instead, it's been replaced with something that's more beneficial. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I can totally relate to that. Because I know when COVID started, I was kind of excited too. 
to just let everything go. There was no more school, no more um, having the responsibilities that I had, no more dance. I mean, you could literally just like start fresh almost. You could start fresh because everything was just gone. It's almost like when you get in the house and I, I know girls can relate to this, taking out your hair. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> taking off your jacket, just getting in the shower, taking off your shoes. I mean, those are just things that feel so good. And that's what COVID felt like. So when I went into COVID, I was like, okay, okay, this is good. This is good. And I was kind of like everybody else. I mean, I just stopped with everything. But then it's important to get back on track, which is what I did. I was like, okay, I can't just sit here and not do nothing. How can I be productive? What, what can I get out of this positively? And so the world started moving on to virtual. And um, we started doing everything virtually, lives, Zooms. I mean, Zoom has probably made <laughs> billions of dollars yeah, out of yeah. COVID because um, I am doing wonderful. Thank you so much. I'm trying to read the comments and talk at the same time. I'm a multitasker. But um, sorry if you just hear me stop and answer a comment. But um, what was I even talking about? Oh, yeah. So. I mean, I had to switch my mindset. I had to say, okay, what, what do I need to do to stay productive? What do I need to do to stay positive? How can I make my business flourish more than it did before COVID? What are some tactics that I can use? Now that I'm home all the time, what can I DIY to make sure that people are still getting the knowledge and, and the food that they need from me from home? What can I do? So that was me changing my mindset. So what are some things that you guys need to change your mindset in? Hi, my daughter and I came to see you in MD. God bless you. Too. Oh, thank you so much. Hi. Hello, everyone, for joining. I mean, some people are just joining now. Hello. Um, but yeah, it's all about shifting your mindset. Oh, and one thing that I did want to say is I saw this video. I've been talking about it a lot these past couple months by Prince Donnell. And he was basically talking about an interview that he did with a rich person or a famous person, somebody, I forget who it was exactly. But he was talking about how Prince Donnell asked the guy this. He was like, how do you have enough discipline to get up every single day, do the things you do and still bring money home and still um, have the lifestyle that you do and, and just to have that discipline. And the guy was like, well, it's not necessary, ne not necessarily discipline. Hello, Evan. It's not necessarily discipline. It's the fact that I made those habits a part of my lifestyle. Yeah. Like he, he ran, he's like walked a certain amount of miles. That's just like crazy. Like people are like, what? How did you do that? He was like, every single morning I got up and ran four miles. And he was like, well, how did you have the discipline to do that? And he was like, I made it a part of my lifestyle. So it's important to make these good habits a part of your lifestyle. Absolutely. They're not habits. It's not discipline or something that you need to make yourself do. It's the fact that it's your lifestyle. Like, what, what's some things that are part of your lifestyle? Getting up and brushing your teeth, right? Getting up and combing your hair. Getting up and maybe sleeping. Sleeping is definitely a part of our lifestyle because yeah. it's necessary. It's necessary. These things that you have a desire to do need to be necessary. They need to be something that you cannot live without. You accomplishing your dreams and goals, you you can't you have to make that something you cannot live without. You have to make it a part of your lifestyle. You have to make it necessary. And I'm I'm glad that I just talked all the way through that because I finally got to the point that I wanted to get at. We need to make it necessary. We, we need to make determination necessary. We need to make motivation and, and striving for our dreams and goals necessary. You have to make it something that you can't live without. Absolutely. I def definitely agree. It actually leads on nicely to the next point about how to like better your mindset or even how to learn to have an adaptable mindset. So do you want to start with that? Okay, how to better your mindset. How can you better your mindset? Well, one thing that I would say is first, how do you go from like having no positive mindset at all to having a positive, productive mindset? Well, first you have to start out small. You have yeah. to start off with everyday little things that you do. So a lot of times people are negative and don't really realize it. Like um, some people may, like rain, for example. Rain is a good example because nobody, like 99% of the world does not like rain. But one way that you can shift your mindset is by saying, oh, well, we obviously need this rain for something. The rain is helping my grass grow. The rain is helping the trees and the flowers and everything stay alive. The rain is, is, is um, 
uh, what am I saying? Trying to nourish animals. Animals have to get water, right? It's making sure the oceans are staying filled. And I mean, it's really doing its job. It's condensation, that whole thing. So it's basically finding the bright side of every situation. I did a video on this. Yes, confidence is key. Discipline is key. Yes, I see you guys in the comments. But um, it starts with everyday little things. Having a positive mindset and everyday little things. You can't just shift from cold to hot. You yes, can't just shift yes. from hot to cold. But it starts with everyday little things that you slowly change throughout your life. Mm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's just about like having those consistent steps, no matter how small they may seem. Obviously, that, that compounding effect then uh, ties in over time. And then you're able to make that shift, that transition into mm. a better, just a beneficial mindset, really. Because when you're able to think, and actually, it's a big, big, um, just a big congratulations to you if you're actually able to be aware that, okay, my mindset isn't the best, I need to work on it. Because that is right. a huge step in the right direction, just yes. being able to think, okay, this is something that I need to change. It's no longer serving me or I just need to kick it up a notch or here are some things I want to achieve and the current weight, the, just like the current rate that I'm working at is unachievable. So I need to become the person who's able to achieve that. So that's definitely like a huge, huge congratulations in its own right and huge achievement. Because when you're able to understand, okay, this is like, let's say I want to maybe make 10K a month. You're able to understand, okay, I'm barely making at maybe 5K a month. What are some steps that I can make as opposed to just putting up this huge goal and having no clue of how to make it? And so you're able to think, once again, make it specific and clear so it's attainable in there. What are some things, some, I don't know, maybe courses, some... Um, side hustles that I can do to then help me work towards this and you're able to break it down and that 10k could become like, maybe a couple hundred pounds a day so in that way it becomes more attainable it becomes more realistic as well because instead of putting this just huge number out of nowhere you're able to understand this is the 10k I want to achieve and here's how I'm going to do it and that way you're no longer thinking like the world owes you anything instead it's simply this is what I'm working towards once again making it that lifestyle and here's how it's going to happen so once you have those steps, you're able to take those first steps in the right direction. Right. I, I love that point that you said. They said, great point, Trey. Absolutely. Making attainable goals. Um, a lot of people start from, you have to start somewhere. So my That's point true. is when you start at that place, you can't like start with nothing and say, okay, I want to be able to buy three Teslas by the end of this month. Now that is, that is a very awesome goal that it's a long-term goal. But you have to start with attainable goals. So maybe you should say, instead of trying to make $300,000 to buy three cars at the end of this month, maybe you should be trying to make $3,000 and trying to make realistic goals. I remember um, Eric Thomas did a video on that. And he said, it's more, you're more likely to succeed if you make attainable goals than goals are, that are just like out of nowhere. So instead of yeah. trying to make a million dollars, try for $10,000 or try for... $20,000 or try for $5,000 start out small and once you reach $5,000 then you can say okay I want to make set I want to make $7,000 then I want to make 10 then you can double it and say I want to make 20 but it's important that you make attainable goals because you're more likely to succeed um, when you are making unattainable goals so yeah I love that topic that you made with you okay. um Ray I'm not too sure if it's me but you sound a bit muffled do I okay yeah, yeah. okay yeah like do I sound better now? Yeah, yeah. Okay, my hand was covering the speaker and I didn't <laughs> even know. So thank you. If you guys can hear and see us okay, then make sure you put a thumbs up down below because I never want to be, you can't hear me. I don't like that. <laughs> so <laughs> let us know, let us know. But yeah, that was a great topic. I think we got a couple questions. So one question is, how do you change your mindset if it doesn't help you? Trey? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I think it's definitely, once again, just understanding where is you want to change. Because if you just pick, like, oh my gosh, I want to change my mindset, that's nothing to start with, really. So you need to pick out what you want to start with. So first of all, maybe, I don't know about my mindset when it comes to working. Maybe every time you go to work, you tend to, like, just not get anything done. Like, for instance, like, throughout lockdown, one thing that, that's actually one thing that I struggle with, actually making sure that I was consistently getting my work done. So instead, what I do now is literally, let's say I have to, I don't know, maybe revise English for an hour. I literally put my phone, not even on Do Not Disturb, I shut it down, that's it. It's off, gone. 
and then that way it actually just um, reinforces that discipline of this is what I need to get done whether I like it or not and it's part of my lifestyle like you said Raven and then when you're able to just make those gradual transitions and even maybe even seeing like some people they may like to work in 15 minute increments as opposed to one hour so they're able to get the most out of it and just seeing what works for you like for like just understanding how like some people are like early birds some people are night hours and then seeing how you can then transition or even shift your day over to just allow you to work at the best of your ability like for instance i was definitely a night owl and then <laughs> being able to transition into more like an early bird that was something that was super super tough and a huge struggle for me and being able to wake up early that was not, <laughs> definitely did not work out uh, the first couple of weeks it was dreadful like the whole just like the whole mood was gone out the window it was ridiculous and then being able to understand okay i'm not doing it just for now i'm doing it for the future there's certain things that need to be put in place there's certain things that need to get done and when you're able to constantly and even just some people like to write down because then you're it feels as though you're proving to yourself and just reminding yourself this is what i'm doing this is the big vision the big goal and this is what i'm working towards and then by doing so it then keeps you more disciplined and keeps your spirits high and just allows you to then keep going on absolutely uh you one point that you touched on was saying you have to find what works best for you yeah so there are a lot there the reason why people are successful why there's so many different types of people that are successful is because they found methods that worked for them yeah, there's yeah. not one method that's going to work for everybody that everybody's going to succeed from no like a lot of people like you said are night owls a lot of people yeah. are early birds i'm an early bird and a night owl which is kind of weird because i think it's hereditary <laughs> from my dad and my grandpa but um you have to find what works best for you i am honestly fine i am i do best waking up early in the morning because i feel like the rest of the not the rest of the world the rest of this hemisphere is yeah. sleep and yeah. i can get up and get done what i need to do before everybody else gets moving that's my mindset on that half now like you said you are a night owl there's probably millions of other people on this world billions because there's 7.7 .7 billion people on this world that are probably night owls too and they do best at night i know somebody said that they like to do their homework at like three in the morning or something yeah. because that's when they can concentrate more when the rest of their house is asleep and after they've gone throughout their entire day, before everything gets started, they like to do that. And that's what help, helps them succeed best. So in order to truly succeed in the field that you want to succeed in, you have to find what works best for you. Whatever drink that you need, if you like Gatorade, get Gatorade. If you like Sprite, get Sprite. If you like waking up in the morning, wake up in the morning. If you like going to bed, I mean, if you like waking or staying up at night, stay up at night. So find the method that works best for you. Um, hello, everybody that's joining. We do have one more question. What are some of the best ways to keep your mindset sustained? Ooh, sustained. I like that. Nice. Do you want to, do you want to start? Um, sure. Hold on. Let me read it one more time. What are some of the best ways to keep your mindset sustained? Okay. So one thing that has helped me is finding mentors. Um, one people that can constantly motivate me because I'm not always at the tip top of my best, always 100% motivated and ready to strive for greatness. I am human too, and <laughs> I am definitely a teenager, so I am not always like that. So I have to find people and um, friend groups that are going to lift me up. And when I'm in my low points, say, Reagan, okay, you got to get back on your grind. I know. This felt so good to relax. It felt so good to chill, but you need to get back up. You need to continue to accomplish your dreams and goals, continue to inspire people, continue to inspire yourself, and keep reaching for what you have a desire to have one day. And I think it's very important, even if you don't necessarily have a mentor, surround yourself with friend groups that are going to lift you up. Because surprising, unsurprisingly, there are a lot of people on this world that don't want you to succeed. There are tons of people in this world that will keep you at their level and um, keep you at the same level that you're at. And they have no desire to lift you up at all. So it's going to take a lot of energy. It's going to take a lot of 
of discipline to take yourself out of that toxic space and to put yourself in a positive space. I am about to release a video on this now um, and put yourself in a positive space in order to truly succeed. So surround yourself with people that are going to constantly lift you up. Surround yourself with people that are saying, okay, you got this. Even though you had a little days, a week or so off, it's time for you to get back on it because you have this end goal in mind and you cannot reach it in the space that you are in now. So there is no way that you can keep yourself sustained, but that's why we have people. That's why we have family around us. That's why we should put ourselves in groups that are constantly going to lift us up. Absolutely. Definitely, definitely agree. Great question. Mm -hmm. Is there any other questions? I don't see any other questions, but is there anything else that you would like to add, Trey? Um, no, just quickly going to refresh for those of you who may be joining. Also, mm -hmm. today, the life of Reagan, we're going to be talk discussing mindset. We have delved into just like why mindset is important. We actually delved into a bit of um, motivation, discipline, and how to make these um, adjustments and shifts even in your mindset so you're able to actually stick to them as opposed to it being like a one-week thing, two-week, and that's it. Instead, you're able to understand this is a part of my life whether I like it or not, and this needs to be done. Absolutely, making it necessary. That was another topic we touched on. So thank you all so much for joining this live. If you guys, I don't see any more. Oh, there is one last question. So we'll answer this question, and then we're going to go ahead and go. Um, but what are some of the intergenerational conversations that tweens and teens need to hear? So would you like to take this one? Absolutely, yeah. I think that's something really, really important and actually has a crazy knock-on effect is financial education as when you're able to understand that like you're able to just simply make money from money as opposed to having to constantly trade your time for money it then puts you in the choice it then provides you with the financial freedom and this actually ties into mindset because like i'm actually a trader myself and being into investing you have to have the right mindset because like the stock market the any market really it has no remorse, no sympathy for you. It <laughs> right. does not have feelings. It's going to go up or down, regardless of whether you're happy or sad. So it's literally just about understanding how you need to learn to get a hold of yourself, grasp yourself, and understand that if this isn't right, there's no way I'm going to be able to do anything externally correctly. And then when you're able to just wrap your head around financial education, it then ties into many different areas. It ties into obviously mindset, as I said. It ties into management, analytic thinking, which then all really and truly are part of mindset so that is the i'd say the main factor when it comes to investing is getting your mindset right and i definitely think that for me personally um financial education also had a knock-on effect on my confidence because like i was really really shy up until the age of maybe 12 13 mm -hmm. and i did not talk up at all i was literally i was really intelligent but i was always at the back of the class like teacher do not pick me please <laughs> and it was really, really crazy. But then being able to understand and just alongside maths as well, and being able to combine the two, it then provides you with that confidence. Because it's like, oh, I have something really cool. But like, people really like this. I can share this. And it then got me up talking up a lot more. And then just understanding how that one thing could then have a knock-on effect on others. So be it like in my trading mastermind group, one thing that I always love, love, love to do is constantly and consistently have someone in there for free as con as then it's actively given back it's constantly just sharing on the message sharing or passing on the knowledge as that's something that's so important because then so that person may and maybe one day now or 10 years 20 years later they're able to remember okay Trishawn taught me this let me go and pass it on to someone else and it's going to constantly have that domino effect and then obviously knowledge is getting passed down people are able to free themselves and con and actually be in the choice so mm -hmm. i think that's definitely something for me yeah absolutely absolutely i just want to add on to that just a little bit um i want to i would say for teens and tweens a lot of that we need to know is to not get stuck in the cycle of normality yeah. Now, a lot of us have this concept that we need to follow. And, and when I say us, I mean teens and tweens. We have this concept that we need to follow, that we feel we need to do in order to succeed. So what I mean by that is we feel like 
And I'm not saying that any of this is wrong. I'm not saying any of this is wrong because it is absolutely great for you to do these things. But we feel as though we need to graduate high school, get our diploma. We need to go to college. And after we go to college, we have to get all these degrees. After we get all these degrees, we need to get married. And after we get married, we need to start a family. And after we start a family, or before we start a family, we've got to get a good job. And, and once we have a steady job, then we can have a family. And people just get stuck in that cycle of normality. When really, I want teens and tweens graduating from high school and, and really just at any point that they are in school, I want them to know that you do not have to get stuck in that cycle of normality. You can have this dream. Don't, don't let your dreams and goals stay in the back of your mind. Bring them to the front of your mind and graduate high school or not even graduate high school. Just go throughout school and life knowing the dreams and goals that you have desired to accomplish and striving for them. Now, a lot of people don't do this because they feel like they need to find something steady. And what's steady? A job, something that you can depend on, something that's dependable. You know that at the end of that two weeks, after you have gone to work and you have done what you need to do, you're going to get that paycheck. And a lot of people rely on that. But I want to encourage you guys that no matter at what point you are in life to continue to start and continue to strive for your dreams and goals, no matter where you are. And yes, sometimes it's going to take risk. Sometimes you're going to be gambling, but it's important to strive for your dreams and goals. Don't get stuck in that cycle of normality. And I wish that's one thing that people would really um, understand as they are teens and tweens because they go into college with that cycle of normality, with that concept in their head, and they end up they end up regretting the things that they didn't accomplish when they were at a certain point of their, in their lives. So that's one thing that I would really stress on, on teens and tweens. Um, but hello, everyone that's joining. I, I, that was done. <laughs> but um, is there anything else that you would like to add, Treshawn? Um, no, actually. You <laughs> pretty much covered it. It was absolutely amazing. <laughs> I actually wanted to ask you, what okay. are, uh, maybe let's say if you were to name three things that make a good mindset or just some of the underlying factors? Some of the underlying factors I would say is having a good and steady routine. Now we do need steady for something. <laughs> having a good, steady, dependable routine. Uh, whatever that routine is, get up and do it, okay? Mm -hmm. Things that you need to accomplish every single day will help you make those things a part of your lifestyle. Like I remember just to briefly go back, he said that he brought money back home every single day because he's an entrepreneur and that's what he does. Um, so yes, having a good routine. Uh, what is something else? Have a good breakfast. I know these are like simple things, but they really do influence your life. Having a good breakfast. Oh, having good mentors, having good friend groups, people to pour back into you because mm. it is nearly impossible for you to stay motivated all by yourself and to do everything that you need to do all by yourself. There's got to be something that you're striving for. There's got to be something that's inspiring you. There's got to be something that you're, you're willing to take risks for. So what is that thing? What is that thing that you wake up every single day in the morning for and almost break your back to accomplish? What is that thing? So you have to have something that you're striving for people that are constantly pouring into you you constantly pouring into people that is a good cycle that is the cycle i'm talking about not the cycle of normality not the cycle of toxic energy that cycle that's the cycle that this world needs to get on um and recycle sorry that popped into my mind i like funny moments that was a funny moment <laughs> but those are definitely things that i'd say are very important yeah definitely absolutely i definitely as you said like having that right peer group having those mentors and coaches as it definitely plays a huge, huge role. Because then when you have that person you said earlier to go back to to lean on even and just to be there like sort of like feeling that like they're in your corner constantly supporting you, it definitely pushes you, encourages you. Because then as well as obviously wanting to do this for yourself, you're thinking like these people have put time, they've invested their time, money, effort into me. The least I can do is give it my all. And it's literally just pushing you to obviously show up give it 110% and then being able to go and as you said constantly um, like even give back in some ways and see how you can then help others and be that mentor coach support person personal support for the other person to encourage them to go on to help others as well and I definitely think that's important just having these uh, mentors and coaches because they've been there they've uh, gone on that journey and they <clears throat> sorry and they're able to guide you along the way so then you're able to understand, okay, like it's really, really tough. It's a, feeling like a huge struggle. 
uh, why don't I turn to this person? I can turn to this person for finances. I can turn to this person for uh, relationships. I can turn to this person for mindset. And when you're able to have these different peoples in their respective areas of expertise, you're able to feel as though you have your back covered. You're able to understand that, okay, let's say I'm struggling in this area. There's a person I can then uh, maybe talk to tomorrow who can help me out, um, refer some things I can do or different like that because then you no longer feel as though you're on this journey by yourself. Instead, there's people around you helping you every step of the way. Right, absolutely. Environment, the people that you're around is very important. If you absolutely. have an environment that is constantly bringing you down, constantly discouraging you, and a lot of people don't realize that they're in that toxic environment until it's pointed out, yeah. because it may be an environment that you've grown up in. Sometimes, in some cases, it may be close family and friends, but you have to put yourself in an environment that you are going to be uplifted that you are going to be continue, continually pushed and, 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 and encouraged. So environment is very important. Hello, everyone that is just joining. Just to recap a little bit, Trey and I did a live. Trey, Sean and I did a live. Um, basically talking about the importance of mindset. This live will go up. It will be posted. Trey, Sean, I can send it to you or at you or yeah. whatever that you need in order for you to post it as well. And for all of your followers to get um, a good glimpse on what we talked about, but uh, thank you all so, so, so very much for joining. Toxic relationships slash environments hold us back. Absolutely. Um, love this. Thank you all so much. This is good, guys. Hi. Thank you. Um, but we are going to end this live right here, unless there was anything else that you would like to say. Um, I'm not actually. We've pretty much covered it. Yeah, really enjoyed it. Okay, great. Thank you all so much for joining this live. Uh, we really appreciated it. Hello, everyone that is just joining. You will see this live. I'm sorry that we are not continuing on, <laughs> but you will see this live on both of our pages where we have talked about mindset. Like I said, thank you all so much for joining, and um, we will be going live separately. Can't <laughs> wait to see you guys on our regular pages, and we love you guys so much. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye.